In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. With your spirit. Uh, today, Friday, we'll uh, hear from St. Paul, who's a uh, great evangelist, of course. And he said, give his life for the salvation of, the, of his brothers in Israel, and so on, as a Jew. And uh, um, <clears throat> through the flesh uh, and blood that came through Jesus Christ. Um, but can you take away another thing? Well, we may be not those great evangelists, you know, up front, tell it to anybody you know, on the market square. But let's pray that we have some kind of St. Paul's great zeal for others, for their spiritual good, for their souls. That would be lovely. Um, in this month, uh, there is <coughs> no uh, specific intention. So what I'm going to do is say it for um, the, that great meeting that's going to happen, you know, that is well publicised, COP26. No idea what it means, but uh, um, the, the, the thing that, that means so much to the poorer people of this world. And the Pope, as you realise, has sent out a special message, do think justly, do think of the poorer and the weaker. And um, this is a cut-down version of the prayer which is available. Loving God, we praise your name with all you have created. You are present in the whole universe and in the smallest of creatures. We acknowledge the responsibility you have placed upon us as stewards of our creation. May the Holy Spirit inspire all political leaders at COP26 as they seek to embrace the changes needed to foster a more sustainable society. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. We pray that those political leaders and our own hearts will hear the cry of the poor who are most particularly affected by climate change. We call to mind our sins. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Let us pray. <clears throat> Almighty ever living God, increase our faith, hope, and charity, and make us love what you command, so that we may merit what you promise. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. 
Thanks be to God. O praise the Lord Jerusalem. O praise the Lord Jerusalem. O praise the Lord Jerusalem. Zion, praise your God. He has strengthened the doors of your gates. He has blessed the children in you. O praise the Lord Jerusalem. He established peace on your borders. He feeds you with fine sweet. He sends out his word to the earth and so delivers his command. O oh, praise the Lord Jerusalem. He makes his word known to Jacob, to Israel his laws and decrees. He has not dealt thus with other nations. He has not taught them his decrees. O oh, praise the Lord Jerusalem. Hallelujah.
different members of our family, it could be older ones, people very close to us, or it could be the younger generation, each with their own needs. Lord, we hold up all these needs to you. Grant what is good. You who live and dream forever and ever. Amen. <clears throat> Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed you, God. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Bless be God forever. With humble spirit and contrite heart, we have accepted by you, Lord, and we have sacrificed in your sight this day, be pleasing to you, Lord God. Lord, wash away my iniquity, cleanse me from my sin. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. In the middle of this excellent Christ, your hands, for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and glory of his church. Look, we pray, O Lord, on the offerings we make to your Majesty, that whatever is done, by us in your service may be directed above all to your glory through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly <clears throat> right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Saviour and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin, fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with angels and all the saints, we declare your glory, as with one voice we are clear. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. O Son in the heights, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Son <coughs> in the heights. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them, like the Jewful, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. <coughs> At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. 
do this in memory of me. <clears throat> Lamb of God, you take away sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, to grant us peace. Behold, the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
and by those taking part in the sacred mass through the broad cups to make a spiritual communion. The prayer. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Blessed Sacrament. I love you above all things and the desire in my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, cannot leave spiritually into my heart. As though you are already there, I embrace you and unite myself wholly to you. Do not let me ever be separated from you. Amen. <clears throat> Let us pray. May your sacraments, O Lord, we pray, perfect in us what lies within them, that what we are now celebrating signs, we may one day possess in truth through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. I just remind you of two things. First of all, All Saints Day is actually Sunday. I don't know if you realise this. Uh, not the Monday, 1st of November, when it usually will be. It's been transferred to Sunday. So we celebrate that at our Sunday Mass. And um, uh, what we will do is take up such November list envelopes 
we have received already uh, and pray for the people concerned at the beginning of this month of the Holy Service and that's most important um, I would add that in the lobby there's a list of those who we think uh, uh, for our COVID memorial services uh, want to be remembered it includes people you know who relatives and so on who weren't of this parish where there were inadequate uh, times for mourning or funerals who want to be remembered you might like to have a look along that list to see whether there's anybody missing who's known to us and finally the clocks do go forward Saturday night mm -hmm. my calculation um, they go back Yes, go oh, back. Fall back. Fall back. back. Now, this is what I was asking for from you all, and for those who have been led astray on the broadcast. <laughs> yes, the clocks go back so that we get an extra hour sleep. Are we agreed on that? Yes. And, and for all those in the broadcast, I, I just remind you of that. The Lord be with you. With yes. your Amen. Amen. Almighty God bless you. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go and announce the gospel of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks. Thanks.